This is Cheslada. We paddle with a piece of the earth. We chart our own direction. The paddle is a, is a tool, a symbol of how we got around. So when we settled with Rio Tinto in 2020, the symbol of that settlement was a paddle, and this is a Rio Tinto paddle made out of the finest aluminum. So this paddle is symbolic of you get two people in one boat, you have to paddle together to go in the direction you want to do. And that's where we are today. We're still paddling in the same direction with the same strokes. And there's not one person paddling harder than the other. We're all paddling as fast and hard as we can. The, the Cheslata First Nation are one of the First Nations who were most impacted by the development of the project back in the 1950s. There was, uh, in the filling of the dam, construction of the dam, they were basically forcefully evacuated from their community and from their villages. And it was done in a way that, look, certainly isn't something that we're proud of and certainly isn't something that, you know, would be regarded as anything like you know, a fair process. Alcan was granted this water license, which basically gave them all the rights to the water in our territory. There was absolutely no obligation, no um, social license to consult with the Indian people back then. In the past, our rights weren't taken into consideration. When things, when development happened within our territory, our rights were not, um, we weren't asked. Since that time, and in particular over the last sort of 10 to 15 years, we've been working at building and fostering that relationship and, and, and working out how we can continue to operate and integrate the Cheslata First Nation into the operations and look for win-win outcomes. We've left the agreement long behind and we're continuing just to build and build and build that relationship. Together with Alcan and with Rio Tento, have developed a professional business relationship based on transparency and trust and confidence in each other.